But we have some other guests that, that would like to ask him one or two questions. And Polsky is one uh, he has to actually leave soon. So I want to bring him on to ask Lesser a couple of questions. Polsky, how are you doing tonight? Hey, good, guys. How are you? Excellent. What's up, Polsky? Hey, what's up? how are you doing? Good. Good. Oh. good. Nice to meet you. How are you doing, nice Foster? You. So, yeah, yeah, good, I, good. I, I can't put Foster's phrase on a T-shirt. However, I've definitely started putting this on T-shirts. Just incredible fields. So, uh, uh, yeah, I run a run a YouTube channel at Bears Key Film. If you want to check it out, I got a bunch of Bears, uh, Bears videos, hype videos, highlight videos, stuff like that, nice. as well as some custom gear. So, I'm not following you on Twitter yet, but I am now. So, oh, nice. uh, yeah, check out <laughs> nice. check out the uh, check out the channel and whatnot if you can if you have some time. But um, <clears throat> my first question for you was going to be statistically. What kind of season does Justin Fields need to have in order for this front office to not have to address the quarterback position in the next offseason? I mean, I, I think they're pretty much sold on Fields now. I mean, they they set him up. I'm not going to say set him to fail, you know, last year, but they did nothing. I mean, Ryan Poles brought nothing in really to help him. You know, I mean, they're, they had Dakota Dozier lined up as their starting guard at one point in the offseason. They did not do a lot. I mean, it was Byron Pringle who kind of came in, who was like kind of a, just a guy in KC, you know, and so they didn't really do too much. So at, at some point, you know, watching him play, watching him take to this offense, they started believing in him. So I, I think they're pretty much sold on him right now. I, I mean, I'm not expecting MVP fields this season. I'm not expecting him to break the, the – uh, 4,000 yard passing uh, mark, uh, but I do think he's going to get, you know, over 3,000 yards passing. He's going to run the ball pretty good. His efficiency will be much better. And I think that's going to be enough for the Bears to decide to, that he's the guy and, and, and pay him long term. And, and man, this, this contract, look at how the quarterbacks are going. The next guy up gets, gets the big check. So don't be surprised if Justin Fields does, you know, balls out. He's sitting, getting one of these gigantic record setting deals. So just a quick follow up. Yeah, um, I believe Vegas has him at twenty nine fifteen, if, if I'm correct. So yeah, that three thousand yard mark is kind of what we're keeping an eye on, I think, statistically. But even if it doesn't come to stats, do you think the team wins or have anything to do with it, or is it just all based off the eye test? Yeah, I, th I think. Uh, I mean, the wins would be nice, obviously, but again, it's gonna come down to efficiency, like. Like, like in that open with Greeny, he talked about how Justin Fields was one of the more efficient passers, you know, down the stretch. You look at his his raw numbers, you're like, well, he was throwing like 130 yards a game, 140 yards a game. Not, not impressive. But the Bears weren't throwing much, but he was efficient. You know, he, he was he was smarter with the ball. You know, he, he was he was he was he was he wasn't taking many sacks. He kind of learned that part of the game. So let's see how he does in, in you know the second year in the Getsy scheme. And, you know, I think, like I said, that's why I got him at 10 wins. I think the wins will come because he's going to be better. Just the DJ Moore factor is going to be huge here for this team. Okay. And then question number two, uh, which player, which one player on the Bears, do you think it's the most important for them to stay healthy all year? Probably DJ Moore. I mean, besides Fields, it's got to be DJ Moore because, you know, you got to have that, that, that go-to guy. He's the number one. He sets the entire receiving core up. This guy is, is a legit number one receiver. He doesn't look the part because a lot of guys here, you know, wide receiver one has to be like six foot four. But, you know, that's that, that's not how they all look. I mean, he's more like a Stefan Diggs. You know, he's just a little smaller, but he's a great route runner. He has good hands, great after the catch. So I think DJ Moore stays healthy. That lets Mooney like, in the slot. That lets Claypool, you know, do his thing at the X. That lets Komet, you know, be open for the zones in the middle. So I think if, if DJ Moore, uh, you know, stays healthy all year, Along with fields, the offense could be, you know, really surprising. You know, so I asked that same question to my buddy David, who helps me with some of the content on my channel and whatnot. And that was my initial answer was DJ Moore. But he brought up a good point, and I think you kind of hit it uh, in the opener a little bit. He's like, yeah, but you look at this offensive line. He goes, if yeah, Braxton yeah. Jones goes down, that could be – so impactful, even more impactful than a guy like DJ Moore going down potentially because, you know, the Bears have kind of added some depth to that wide receiver position. And worst comes to worst, you're kind of left with what you had at the end of the year last year. But uh, if if we suffer an injury at the left tackle position or even really anywhere on the line, like you were saying with the center and whatnot, I think that could be pretty detrimental to this team. So hopefully all those guys stay healthy and they all gel. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for – your answers and appreciate you. I'll definitely check out some of your content oh, yeah. and uh, hopefully you check out some of mine too. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Cool. Thank you, Lester. Appreciate <laughs> yep. you guys. Thanks, Paul. All right. I'll see you guys. Thank you. All right. See, you threw me off with the show. 
uh, <laughs> there was something he said at the end there about, um, um, oh, I was going to say, uh, Jason Peters is still out there, right? <laughs> yeah, he, he's out there. I'm not sure he's got much left in the tank. Uh, but, I mean, that, that is true. I mean, it all starts up front. Um, I think the Bears, with the receiving core and the way they have uh, uh, Robert Tunya now, I think the, the quick game is a little more more something they can go to if they had to, just because they have better receivers. They have uh, you know a good stable of running backs now. Um, I mean, it all starts up front, um, but you know there is no superstar amongst the 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 uh, the O line right now. I think Tevin Jenkins has the potential to be that. Uh, obviously, with Wright, a rookie, he has the potential to be that. I, I like the upside of Braxton Jones too, but. You know, we got to see what he does here in uh, in year two. Yeah. You're muted, Foster. <laughs> He's just yelling at everybody over there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can hear it. Dan, where do you say no, it? I, I, I still think I was saying, I said, didn't, didn't Paulie kind of make like four questions out of two, pulling the old uh, – The, old the follow-up. Yeah. PJ's got this thing where he'll, geez, I got one more question, but it's like 27 sub parts. Oh, but he, he got, got it in. Look, he, he got it in. out, removed himself. Yeah, 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 he did. He did. He did. Stop, he did. PJ. Yeah, remove him. <laughs> <laughs> so I, was like, I was like, well, that's, that was cool. And, and good questions, man. Good questions, good answers. <laughs> 